Good morning, everyone. This is Brandon with Freeman's Construction. I'm here in Poway at this brand new custom home and ADU that we're working on. I want to just show you what's happening here. It's a uh, cold and rainy morning in San Diego terms here, bundled up to the best of my ability. So uh, we'll uh, see what I can do to not slip and fall through this mud. But uh, we've made a ton of progress on this place since my last uh, video update. So I just want to show you uh, what's happening. Let's take a look. All right, so we're here at the front of the home. As I mentioned, we've uh, had a ton of progress since I, our last video update. The house has been wrapped uh, with this Tyvek house wrap. It's an air and water barrier that goes on before the siding goes on. The roof has gotten done. All dried in, the shingles are on. These shingles are a Timberline HD Ultra. Uh, Ultra is a thicker of the two HD versions they have. It just gives more protection, but also gives a more thick and a real shake-like shingle look. So that turned out awesome. Another thing here that this house has gotten, as we just did a recent video, on this that the house we're building for ourselves is this plate line uh, ceiling tape. It's a tape made by SIGA. Uh, it's, it's also an air barrier tape for keeping air movement from coming in and out of the house right there. That's one of the largest leak points you get on home. So this tape does the job of sealing that off. Also it does wonders for keeping out pets like ants and bugs. So definitely appreciate not having to deal with that um, by doing something simple as sealing that, that play line. All right, let me see if I can make my way through these puddles and not uh, fall in my rear. Just about did a minute ago. So we'll go through the inside of the house. Just kind of show you what's happening here. The framers are here today straight edging all the walls is always a real fun saying that very sarcastically fun job for them it's just extremely time consuming they straight edge all the walls so when the drywall goes on it's nice and flat you don't get walls that look like a snake you can sight down them and they're they're straight and clean and crisp so yesterday was a big milestone for this project we got signed off on our combination frame inspection which that means the inspector signed off on all the framing, the electrical, the plumbing, HVAC, windows, low voltage, basically anything that will get buried in the wall. So now we can insulate and drywall, which is a uh, big step for moving this project forward. Not sure if it was in the last video, but these showers have also been hot mopped since uh, in the last couple of weeks. And this is probably the most tried and true way to seal up the shower. What they do is they actually build up the shower pan with uh, asphalt roof shingles. So that you get the slope all the way into the center and then they hot mop it with the car to seal it all up. So let's head on over to the ADU. I'm gonna venture on over there and uh, again, not, try not to slip and fall through this mud. Uh, we are insulating over there today. We're doing spray foam up in the attic and the traditional fiberglass bats in the walls. So I'll show you a little bit uh, about what's happening there. All right, here we are inside the ADU. They are well underway with getting this place insulated. So you can see spray farmers going up in the attic space. This stuff's pretty amazing. It goes on as just a real light mist, maybe only a half inch thick, and then it expands to well over 10 inches or so. Let me get a little quick video of what they're doing. So we've been doing this in most of uh, the homes recently that we've done. A large advantage to this is that 
insulating factor gives a much higher R value than a traditional fiberglass bat up in the attic. Uh, but some other advantages to it is the attic is now a conditioned space that only varies about four degrees, I believe, different from the space below it where all of the uh, HVAC ducting is pumped into. So what that means is all of your ducting, your hot and cold water pipes, all of that that flows through the attic space is now sitting in conditioned space. So whether it's a hot, scorching hot summer, your cold water is not up there in 150 degree attic space um, anymore. And the opposite true in the wintertime. So your hot water is not up there uh, in a cold attic. And your water heater having to work overtime. Your furnace unit and all of that is sitting in now conditioned space. So it has a much longer lifetime. It's not getting baked in hot summer weather. So you have a second fan. Pretty, pretty neat system. So jumping back to the advantages, yeah, so all those your furnace unit, all of that stuff does not have to work as hard through those hot summer temperatures. And then advantage with the roofing, we don't have to do any gable end vents or O'Hagan vents in the roof, so there's a cost savings there. But also you don't have those uh, roof penetrations or all overall potential for leaks. Obviously not if they're done right, but any hole through the roof is a potential for a leak. Spray foam is a bit more cost up front, but it, you, there's savings, like I said, in the roofing and also electric costs down the road and maintenance costs with uh, units and all that in the long term. So go get this place entirely knocked out today with insulation. And we're going to start drywalling this next week. And we'll get to start a um, new phase of this project with going in towards the finishes, which is always fun for our clients to see as it starts looking a lot more like a home because drywall is on, you can walk through the house and not look through the walls and actually feel what it's going to feel like. And, Paint colors start going on, cabinets go in. So, very exciting. So, making your progress here. Weather's been fun and interesting to deal with. It's always something that throws a curveball this time of year, but you do your best to keep everything moving forward. And we're doing just that. So, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.